Hi guys and welcome back to another plan with me. This is like my third video that I uploaded for this weekend. Just trying to play some catch up. If you guys just join me, welcome, welcome to my plan with me. I do try to post a video every week, at least once around Friday. Because I came down with the flu and nearly lost my voice, I couldn't edit um, any videos that I filmed. So I've accumulated a lot of film, film footage. So that's why I am desperately just editing, editing, editing videos. Quickly before we start, just want to show you guys the thumbnail for the February mystery kit here. Pre-sale will end on Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or until the kits are all sold out. And now quickly back to the plan with me. So this plan with me, I'll be using my weekly kit A from my January mystery kit. So for the new year, a lot of you guys are pretty excited to use your new planners. And for me this year, I'm going to use this one. I'm still going to stick with Mambi. I'm pretty happy with Mambi actually. And if you guys missed out last week, plan with me or in the last video literally, which I uploaded yesterday. Here's the spread for it. Here you will see my January monthly spread. I will upload that video after this video. I've already planned this week's, well, this page out in my old Mambi Happy Planner. So I'm not going to do that for my new Happy Planner. So for this plan with me, I'm going to start, or with this planner, I'm going to start on the 2nd of January. As I've said before, this is my mystery kit A that I'll be using in the HP format in Glossy. So those of you who never order from me, I highly strongly recommend Glossy over matte. I used to be a matte girl but until I discovered Glossy paper and when I changed over to a new industrial commercial printer, I just fell in love. Like it's so much better the quality and the printing and the spread turns out so crisp, so vibrant. It's just, yeah, I, I just totally, totally recommend it. Okay, so we'll be planning from January 2nd to January 8th. Let's get started. As you can see here, I didn't really go through all the other new Mambi planners, so I'm not too sure about the headers. What's missing are the headers, as you can see. It's just three blank section here, the top, the mid, and the bottom with no headers. Um, the size is still the same, even or a little bit taller. So it doesn't really bother me when I plan because I usually cover up that space with extra washi. I just want to point out, and I was, that's why I'm zooming in, that my date covers are larger than my planner that I'm using here. And I know Mambi has different planners out there with, with different designs, so it may be a little bit different. So what I do is that I just put the sticker lower, so as you can see here, I don't know if you could really tell, that <laughs> my sticker is larger than the space above. I'm just going to bring in a solid color in the background here. You can see better. My date stickers are a little bit taller than the one I'm using for this planner. What I do, as you can see, I just moved my sticker down. Or you could just trim the sticker. Mambi Happy Planner has so many variation out there. And it's hard for me to create sticker that is that will fit all the Mambi Happy Planner because there's so many different styles. I usually try to make the sticker bigger so that you have extra space to either trim or you could do what I do is just move the sticker down. And on to the other side. And I have to lay down my dates because if I don't, I don't know what date I'm working on. Even though it has the week date, I still need to know the number of the dates because my mind can't function like that without the dates. I think I'd like to lay down my washi first before I lay down the full boxes because there's a little bit of space showing in the sections. So I'd rather have my washi covering that 
then lay my full boxes on top. So I picked out a few washi as you can see here. And now my process of elimination. And there we go, I think I'll be using those washies. Before I place down the full boxes, I like to measure out how far it's going to be where I could put the top part of the washi. So as you can see, I don't mind um, Mambi not having the headers because I don't really follow the box itself. And it's just really flexible when you do have extra washi in hand to just fill in the spots. Oh, this sticker book is actually also from me and my big idea is their value pack sticker because my mystery kit only comes with five full boxes there are two other full boxes that needs to be filled and I figured that I could fill them in with something that I could find in the value pack which I did these little flowers matches my little flowers up there however with the last box I just could not decide what I want because everything in there seemed a little bit too busy with the pattern. So I decided to use this washi here, the bigger washi, and just make blocks out of it. Even though it overlaps onto the weekend, I don't mind. I think it's super pretty. And I'm going to outline it with my gold foil washi here. And lastly, before we're done this section, I'm gonna finish everything off with this black washi just to make it look nice and proper. Now for the bottom wash, I'm just going to use this floral one just to match the florals on top on the date covers. For the sidebar, I'm going to use this horizontal scrapbook paper here that I have. This checklist sticker is actually from the monthly kit, from the January mystery kit. I didn't use it for my monthly spread and I'm going to place it down here for this week's spread and it fits perfectly for the sidebar too. Now on to my today section which I usually do on the top part. Before I do anything, I always lay down my meal plan stickers. So. The lighting here might be a little bit awkward that it'll go lighter and darker it's because I'm filming during the day and it's sunny and then cloudy then sunny so that's why the lighting goes up and down is because I'm filming in front of the window and I don't have control over that. In my previous plan with me video I did say that we are doing a staycation and we won't be back home till the 3rd on Tuesday. So on Monday, we decided to explore the city that we went to. And on Tuesday is our travel day to come back. And when we get back, I know I have to tidy up the house, especially fix our bed or change the sheets and do the dishes. Thursday is my son's actual birthday and we're having a birthday party on that day for Thursday. So Wednesday is a lot to prepare because I haven't really prepared anything for his birthday because of Christmas and New Year's Day. I decided to leave everything last minute to prepare on the Wednesday the 4th. So as I said, Thursday is his birthday. He's turning two and I know that day I need coffee. So I just placed a coffee sticker there. Because we planned this huge party for my son, even though he's turning two, I feel like that my daughter might be a little bit jealous or left out so I decided to do a me and mommy day with my daughter on Friday the next day and go watch the movie Moana.
And I've also decided that that Friday I'm going to film my plan with me and also edit and upload as much of the videos that I have backed up. For the weekend, huge plan. Sorry to say that Christmas is done. It's down to, it's down. It's time to take down the Christmas decorations and the trees. And this Sunday is the last day for pre-sale for the February mystery kit. Forgot to add that my husband has hockey on Wednesday. And for this section here, I like to do my next week's list just to add in what I like to do for next week or if I haven't accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish this week. Next week I like to do some returns and also start picking up all my skating again. And this bottom section here, there's a few things that I have to do for work that I cannot, cannot forget for next week. And mostly you guys may know that I do need a quote in my sidebar. I went through the Manby Valley Pack sticker here and found this. Think happy, be happy, and it fits perfectly well with the spread. I'm going to use my decor sticker that comes with the kit and just decorate the kit all around. And because of the awesomeness of fast forward in iMovies, I'm just going to zip through me inking my page. I thought I'd be add a few icon sticker here and there. And let's zoom through this again for the second page. And there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. I know this one's a little bit longer than I expected, but hope you guys still enjoyed it. I really love how the black turned out on this spread like it's just gorgeous it's not too much black but just enough before when I start designing it I rarely use black in my in my kits but now now I have a little bit more confidence <laughs> to use black I think it's just all about balance and zoning it in thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video which I'm pretty sure is my January monthly plan with me. I'll see you next time. Happy planning. Bye!